Hello, Future Cameron here, also known as the Cameron that's editing this episode. I just wanted to say, in this episode, we get into some pretty controversial territory, and that we have no problem with anyone of any race, religion, sexual orientation, gender, or anything else of the sort. If it's not clear throughout the episode, we don't have a problem with the actual actors or the way the character is. We have an issue with the way all media seems to portray homosexuals. We have just noticed that in most TV shows nowadays, there is always the one gay kid, which is fine, but it seems that he is always portrayed overly flamboyant and very stereotypically gay, like over the top. And I'm not saying some people aren't like that, because I've met people who are like that. All I'm saying is that It is not an accurate representation of all gay people. Thank you. Now let's get into the episode. Hey, welcome back to Quay. Oh god, you should go right into it. Quay! Quay PvP! Quay PvP! PvP! This is where we kick the shit out of each other. A special episode? episode? Finally! (laughs) Eric's favorite episode. Alright, um... Quay, episode four. Episode four. Welcome everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I am Cameron, a.k.a. Mr. Underscore Kajoko. I'm Josh, Phantom 300. Mm-hmm. And this is Eric. I'm here. To Spidey. Eric. Eric to Spidey. He's here. So I wanted to bring this up. Robin got this for Christmas from my parents. It's a, it's Peppermint Twist Smirnoff Vodka. I was right. It's a scratch and sniff bottle. What? Huh? Give it a little scratch and sniff, Josh. No, that's not how that works. Works. Well, you you a not yours. He's not scratching your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Give a little, okay, yeah, yeah. little so, scrape. Show gentle... me how it should be done. <laughs> it's a gentle, <laughs> gentle scraping. Scratch. No, scrape. don't lick it. <laughs> don't lick the bottle. Give it a little scratch. I you don't even need to scratch it. it. It just smells. Yeah, I don't think you have to scratch it. Okay. Well, oh yuck! No, it's on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not open, Eric. Why not? Because it's Robin Christmas. hasn't opened it yet. <laughs> it's for next Christmas. No. Oh, it's peppermint. Okay. It's no, the bottle smells like peppermint. The actual bottle itself. All right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought. It, you know, That's just, something. Just something. You know. Thought it was cool. Uh, it was a gift from my parents to Robin because they get her good stuff. I kind of wish, I kind of wish you guys got no, to I'm see that. Be, me be an idiot. Yeah, Josh <laughs> went, he, he scratched the bottle and then snipped his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scratch and sniff. Yeah. Uh, you never scratched something before. You never had a scratch and sniff sticker ever. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is that? About? That's that's fair. <laughs> I bet you had those Damn. smelly markers, and you wrote on the paper and smelled the paper. <laughs> yeah, instead of huffing markers like a true... <laughs> true, true gamer? <laughs> yeah, true gamer. <laughs> oh. Alright, so we have significantly less to talk about this podcast, um, so it might go a little dull. So. Or off the rails. Or... or off the rails, yeah, you never know. The unplanned ones, they uh, sometimes can be real fucky. You know who went off the rails? Okay. <laughs> Do we really need to do? <laughs> so anyway, that's, that's all getting cut. So we're just gonna pretend like nothing happened. Okay. Um, I've got a couple more talking points. Um, Robin and I started watching that '90s show. Oh, I oh. A few episodes. You remember uh, that '70s show, Josh? Yes. So they made a uh, a sequel to that. It's called it's that, called 90s, that show? '90s show. It's, it's, their, it's their kids. Oh, okay. And they got. Uh, Almost all the original actors. The only one they can't get is Hyde because something. Is he in jail? I think so. Uh, okay. He did no. something. He was in that show with the uh, with Kelso. Yeah, and then the he country w- one. Yes, and then he wasn't in that show anymore. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I think they killed him off in the show. Really? Right, right Robin? Mm-hmm. They they made it so that he died, but he died off camera, so that he, they could always bring him back. There, it was uh, a mystery if he died or not. Okay. Okay. So if something were to happen, they could bring him back. Um, he's being held against rape charges, essentially. Yeah, he's being held against rape charges. Oh, that's not okay. good. So, um, I don't turn that on. Were, the, noisy. Was, were they just allegations, or did this, they get proved? Yeah, like you at work. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 
Okay, we don't bring him last time. We don't bring him up again, okay? Um, yeah, so the, he's, as far as we can tell, he's the only one that's not in it. They even have uh, Leo, uh, the yeah. stoner, he's in it. Okay. Um, like Cheech. I think it's Cheech, right? Or is it Chong? It's Cheech, I want to say. Okay. It's Chong, but I think it's the fatter one. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's okay so far. Um, it is a little cringy. Not as it's not as bad as like nowadays television. Yeah. But it is still pretty. Cringy. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's like they're basing it off like the eighties timeline. Nineties. Sorry, nineties. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> really I meant to say nineties. I apologize. It's <laughs> all right. Uh. <laughs> so it's supposed to be like ninety six. Like 1996 or whatever. 1995. Okay. 1995. Five, okay. So, like, mid-90s. Um, which is what they did with, like, that 70s show. It was, like, mid-90s. None of us were born? Mid, yeah. Yeah. No. So it was, <laughs> so, mid-70s, but obviously it came out uh, later, so they knew what was going to happen. Yeah. And then they would, like, constantly, like, do shit like that. Like, oh, man, when Luke Skywalker was Darth Vader's son, oh. or, like, whatever the fuck. Like, shit like that. It was oh. very good. He named his daughter Leia. Too. Oh, like yeah. As the work, he's a Star Wars professor. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's like a Star Wars religion professor. Yeah, like... It's so so funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, but like all TV nowadays, a little, little cringy, and I think it's just because child actors are cringy. I hate the gay kid. Yeah, so he's just that's so mean. So I don't mind. Okay, let me, let me put this out here. I agree with you. I don't like. The gay kid in that show. Because he's gay. No. <laughs> Not, I have okay. no zero issue with any person, period. Like, you, what whatever. Blacks? No. Oh, God. Stop it. <laughs> whatever your, your race. Yourself. Whatever your race, whatever your sexual orientation, whatever your gender, I have, I don't care. Unless you fuck dogs. Come on. Yeah, don't, That's fair. No, 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 I agree. I agree. Don't fuck dogs. Wait, you saying you like dog fuckers? <laughs> no. That. <laughs> The, I, the the point is, we respect you as a person. Unless you fuck dogs. And I don't I don't want this to sound like, <laughs> so I don't want this to come across really rude and mean. But he's like, just a bitch he, character. He's I have like, like I said I have no problem with them adding gay characters and whatever. But it seems like every time in new shows, whenever they add a gay character, it's always a flaming homosexual. And always, uh, like they're always like guy. super stereotypically gay. Like, oh my god, I talk like this and blah blah blah. And like, like I'm sh like I completely agree that like everyone should be allowed in whatever. No, um, in whatever. Except in dogs. whatever. <laughs> but <laughs> that's not what I mean. I mean, like any type of person should be in any show or yes. movie or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah Because yeah. there's cultural appropriation, which is I think funky, right. An Asian man should play Martin Luther King. <laughs> Switch it up. But my point is. Yes, there are some uh, homosexual people that are like that, and that's fine. But it's not all of them. It's not like so. What you're trying to say is like you're not a fan of. I'm not a fan of the the way they're portraying the the gay that like gay people. Yeah, and like and in the yeah. '90s, like that, people weren't as openly gay. Yeah, because because in that it was, time it was in not... that time it was like not socially accepted exactly kind of thing. Yeah. So like I don't I don't mind having uh, a gay person in a show, and I, this. I, I don't want any backlash from this. And I'm, I'm, yeah, sorry if I, I'm sorry if I offend anybody. Us three I, straight men, they did gays wrong. <laughs> they don't know how to be gay. I, I like seriously. I don't want to offend anybody, but I just it's it bothers me that every show that comes out nowadays has to portray gay people with flaming homosexuals. And I don't know. I, I don't know if that term is. Like rude no, or offensive. Funny. I was gonna say something. Okay, I stopped myself, Josh. You see that? Good boy. Yeah, thank you. I was, I was gonna say a pile of sticks. Oh my! <laughs> so again, I have no problem with that. I just, I just don't like how it's always portrayed that way. Yeah. Um, I and I, and I think I think even they would understand that too. So yeah. like, I think you're fine. It's just okay. like, I I don't know if you have you heard of like. Just to stick kind of on that topic. Yeah. Um, have you heard of the... Apparently there was an allegation mm -hmm. um, that when they made Dream Daddy, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> apparently they apparently they didn't, like, do it right. Like, they didn't portray... Like, gay men, right? Yeah. Oh. Have you heard this? No, I haven't. No, okay. I, I'm trying to remember the story. It's been a bit since I've, like, watched someone stream about it mm. they not dress well enough 
No, it it was. I think it was. I think it was just like the guy was like being trying to be. Vo- there was two people working at that office, mm-hmm. and they both were like, "Hey, Robin, welcome yeah. to the podcast." Um, this apparently they were they were portraying they were portraying they were portraying it correctly. Okay. Just like the way you were explaining yeah. it with um, like just modern TV in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Robin and I have tried to get into a lot of, like, newer shows that came out. Like, um, we tried to get into, like, we watched uh, Boy Meets World. Okay. And then we tried to get into Girl Meets World, which is the sequel, which is their kids. Mm-hmm. But, again, they have, like, the flaming, like, homosexual kid in that show. Who was their, their school friend. And we couldn't get past, like, two episodes. Is it me? Was... No? Well, yeah, I guess. Like, everyone is very, like... It's because they're trying to be, like, they're trying to empower gay people, right? Yeah. So they're trying to be like, okay, fuck you, bitch, kind of thing, right? Which is fine. But well, nobody's going to be friends with, like, in the 90s show, he's just such a he's, fucking He's cunt. an asshole. Like, like why? Nobody's going to be friends with that. Mm-hmm. Nah. And he's, like, supposed to be the new Fez character. and like Because like, he's Asian. <laughs> that does not have anything to do I with mean, that. because <laughs> the way, like, because Fez had, like, that, like, overwhelming list it's, and Fez stuff was, like that. Fez was a sexy man. Exactly. But, like... Anyway, let's get off this topic before we end up. Let's canceled. get away from the gays. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 a good show, it's, but I, there yeah. are there are a few things I would change. Yeah. Um, mainly the the way they portrayed this this character. The mom has not mean. aged though. No, she's aged a little bit, but not much. She's had a lot of work done. Yeah. No, really. Kitty, yeah. So is, oh, I thought so she is, looked great. So is Donna. Donna. Oh yeah, no, she, you could tell. Like she's had a lot. She of almost work looks done. Asian. Like, he's, so, he's right. He's right. She's had a lot of work done. She looks since, so like, much different. Yeah. <clears throat> Katie, um, she looked good. She looked good. Well, for her age, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, especially like how many years? Especially considering she was already like, like maybe mid to late forties in that seventies yeah. show, and it's been like she's in her like sixties or seventies now. At this Red's point, she's aged gotta nicely. Be. Red, yeah, Red has too. He hasn't. He doesn't look like he's changed much. No, just either. But great. <clears throat> and they did a really good job making Eric look like he didn't change at all like like after we we watched like that 70s show and like he looks like that and then we watched a movie with him in it and he look, no but yeah he does look completely different in that yeah. and it's just like it's the hair. the hair yeah, yeah. yeah as soon as they give him that like bull haircut back he looks like a child yeah. <laughs> and, like, um yeah but it's a good show I, I would recommend watching it um a little cringy but you get past it because right <clears throat> the one season on, on Netflix right now. Okay, one season. Okay. Um, I watched Kaleidoscope. Oh, that was that? good. So it's a show on Netflix. I'm just. I'm trying to look. I'm gonna look up the main actor. <clears throat> Jesse um, Eisenberg. No, it's not Jesse Eisenberg. Matthew uh, Perry. So the way it <laughs> works what? is each. Same, um... It's Gus Fring. Yes, same the guy show. Guy who plays Gus Fring, from. Uh, what. Uh, Breaking Bad? Oh. Um, I'm just pulling up his name here. Uh, it's a funky oh, name. Oh, I can't pronounce yeah, his yeah. name. Um, Giancarlo Esposito? Oh, Giancarlo. I'm just going to... Esposito? Esposito. Uh. I'm going to put his name into Google Translate <laughs> so you can we can hear it. And then Google can get the backlash for the wrong... Giancarlo. Is it Giancarlo? Giancarlo? Uh, anyway, so it's a... It's a good show. Um, Netflix came out with it, right? It's a Netflix original. And, uh, hang on, here's his name. All right, come on. <laughs> Giancarlo Esposito. Esposito. Giancarlo Esposito. There we go. Um, <clears throat> anyway. People. So, uh, he's the main character. And, uh, it's all, it's a heist show. It's all about, like, them planning a heist and performing a heist. Okay. And, uh... Each episode is named after a color, like Ooh. green, pink, blue, whatever. And then everyone gets their own way of watching it. You can watch any episode in any order, and they shuffle every episode for every account. Except for white. Except for white. Yeah. The only rule is you have to finish with episode white, which is like the heist. Okay, I get it, because when you finish... It's yeah. white. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh. Um, so I don't I don't remember what my order was, but like <laughs> it, it was it was a good show. The ending, like the heist was insanely good. 
ending sucked. I, w- I will <laughs> say that. The ending, don't get your hopes up for the ending. I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> I think the, the last episode, like, in terms of uh, continuity, not continuity, um, in terms of, yeah, continuity, right? In ter- like, uh, the way they tell the story? Chronological. Chronological. It, chronologically, the last episode is pink, I want to say. It's like six months after the heist. Um, and that's like the ending, uh, technically, but so you can watch it in whatever order you want, right? Yeah. So you can technically watch it chronologically. You'd have to like look up a guide. Yeah. Um, so it's like, it's like six years before the heist, five years before the heist, a month before the heist, the night before the heist, the heist, a, the day after the heist, and then six months after the heist. Okay. And so it's like, it's a, it was a good show. I really enjoyed it. And I thought that was, it was a really cool way of them putting it out there. Like, just shuffling yeah. all the episodes. And, like, each episode, you can... So they, they... They... They remixed it for every account that decided to watch it? Yeah. So, like... That's cool. every Every Netflix account. So, like... Yeah. Like, I watched it on my account, which is also my parents' account. So they have, like, their profiles. Yeah. If you went onto their profile, it's the same order. Yeah. Um as like mine but if you were to own your own netflix account and yeah. you watched it it'd be a different completely different order different order okay every episode is That's cool. has like a, a start and finish kind of thing yeah um and yeah they're every episode is pretty contained with content yeah that, they, they don't like okay. they don't like reference other shit um in like an episode that you haven't seen yet kind of yeah thing. um the only one they do that with is uh white because that's the, the one yeah. that's supposed to be the end yeah right okay um uh, and th- even then, that's like, that's like three or four things. They don't talk about much. No. Um, it's just like stuff that you would have caught during the, the, the other yeah, previous other episodes, six yeah. or seven episodes. And they're like, an, they're an hour long each, okay. except, except for one of them. One's like a half an hour. Um, and, oh, uh, itchy. it's a, it's a really good show. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I thought it was really cool. And like each episode, because it's all named after color, there's a lot of that color in the episode. So like the lighting's always like, like yeah, it's like a nice spy book. Yeah, you can really yeah. like like the episode's called Green. So there's a lot of like green lighting everywhere. There, uh, one of them like there's a character in prison and his uniform is green and like stuff like that. It's cool. Mm. That's for women. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, it was a it was a good good show, and I would highly recommend it. What's it called again? Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Don't listen! Joe. Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. It's a Netflix original. Come on. Very, I'm very good show. Doing my best to pay attention, Nogi. Derek, stop eating your sleeve, you freak. Just <laughs> cut it off. No, your arm. Never. Cut off your arm. Can't with this one. It's a metal one. Oh, damn. That, that's the shoulder. Mm-hmm. But you can cut it off with the elbow. Yeah, but then I look like a fucking... <laughs> Person with <laughs> missing quarter of their arm. Yeah. Also known as a cripple. Nope. Yeah. Paraplegic. Nope. Not paraplegic. Cripple. Uh, I think that term's a little bad. Um, <laughs> Robin, do you have anything to add to the podcast? No. Cool. <laughs> so you just came here to take my fucking foot spot, huh? Came here to go through your phone, Eric. Hi. Hello. He doesn't care, apparently. <laughs> You're not getting a fucking blueberry, you piece of shit. Yeah, I'm free. Um, Eric, has anything happened to you lately that you want to talk about? Volleyball. How did volleyball? How do you we volleyball won. in winter? It's indoors. Oh, yeah. indoor volleyball. Okay. <laughs> Go on. Damn it. <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead. We play against fucking Mormons. Okay. That's my old team. Okay. And we killed them. You, killed, fucking, you we, killed Mormons? We killed those fucking Mormons. <laughs> I was swearing at them because we're allowed to swear now that we, <laughs> we're not a part of the team. <laughs> it was beautiful. Did you say nice kill every time you scored? Nice kill. No, I had a nice block though. Oh, you had a nice block? Oh, nice so receive. He was against a really tall guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he went to go hit it down. I jumped up and blocked it. We did like a battle over the net. And I just went, Gah! and got it straight down. Real high like, Fuck shit. you. I know. Oh. <laughs> I was doing a bunch of like dive saves too. I was diving uh, over because my team kept fucking up. Cool. So you really wanted to beat this other team. That was formerly your team. Oh yeah. Athena, stop eating the cat post. 
Yeah, Eric uh, was talking about like he wanted to get all of us on the team for uh, volleyball. Oh my! You needed you needed eight players, and we only have six. <laughs> Don't chew the pencil, Eric. Well, turns out it's six. We only have six. Yeah, isn't oh it six? Oh my god! For... It's six to be on. But it says yeah, like on the thing you need minimum eight. eight people. That's so dumb. Yeah, because they need you people just to swap give out. Her a shove. Hey, fuck you! Yeah, that worked too. You just need people to swap out. That's why it's eight. But. But we only have, have six, yeah. and we love that because we never have to go off. Yeah, you're always So playing. I emailed the guy, I was like, <clears throat> don't give us any more people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's like, are you sure? I was like, positive. We don't want any more people. We never want to leave the court. <laughs> so we have six. That's cool. We've named ourselves the Breakfast Club because <laughs> we're all strangers. <laughs> <laughs> what does FWB stand for? Friends F- with Benefits. W- oh, okay. Oh. Eric, you've got some Friends with Benefits on your phone? Oh. Is that my phone? <laughs> you fuck! I'll stab you. I'll stab you. Robin's been going. Okay. Robin's been going through Eric's phone for the last fifteen minutes. Whoa! 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 Don't knock him. Don't knock over the chair while she's sitting in it. That's rude. All right. All right. Careful. Careful now. Robin, just give him his phone back. He's gonna end up. You do this. You, you stand on the floor. You're grounded. <laughs> more than this way, is more ways than one. Okay. Help me. Oh no. Ugh, I got it, Josh. Yeah, the Mormons suck at volleyball, though. <laughs> what? Mormons suck at volleyball. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> the fridge! Oh, the fridge, Robin! God! Get off. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just clicked the one that had her tits as her picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. I saw that one. I was like, I got to see what this conversation is. Ladies man, Eric. We were here. That's the one too, oh. click, isn't it? <laughs> the one with the <laughs> click on music. Pity now. pictures. Oh, Squirtle, no. Squirtle fell. That's okay. Squirtle! Well, you also have a bundle. Time. As you can tell, oh, yeah. like, the, in, like, the peppering hmm? of pity behind so all the So all the girls message one. first. <laughs> you see that? Torchic. Oh, yeah, like, fall you can't time. message them. Mm-hmm. Girls have to message. And On what? Hi. What are you talking about? This one we do. Bumble? What is Bumble? Oh, it's the one like... where the girls have to message first. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Like, you're not, like, you can't do it if you match. Oh, they have to message first. That's so weird. And all, it's just, hi. Huh. And it's like, well, okay. You're not putting in the work. Fuck you. I mean, I guess it's to stop girls from receiving dick pics. I don't think you can send... Shit on like Tinder. Okay. Like pictures though. Well, I didn't know that. I haven't I don't used. think so. <laughs> I haven't used any any of them. I've been in a happy committed relationship for the last eight years. Robin, can you just be nice for once? <laughs> we're, we're in front of our three God, listeners. Man. Make us food. <laughs> be nice to your man. We're talking to our three listeners, which ha- happen to be me, Eric, and probably Ren. <laughs> you know who Josh listens? Josh, do you listen to our podcast? Yeah, I listen to the podcast. So we're all, we're the three listeners. I listen you heard to yourself. I listen to it twice. Oh, Ooh, good job, boy. We have like I think a total of like four listeners, but I know one of them is me. A little, because I, I listened to our pod then the one that came I, out yesterday last night. I've been doing my best to promote it on stream, and then on Twitter and stuff. So. Good boy. It's whenever hard, whenever it's I see hard. it up, I'm like, okay, we're on we're on YouTube's and it's spoofy. It's hard to find on our, our own thing. Like when I search Clay, Actually, there's other stuff. Why are you bleeding? My blueberries cut me. How did you do that? It's sharp. Do you want to get them like paper towels? No, or I want to eat it. Okay. <laughs> Three? It's <laughs> 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 uh, human instinct. Yeah, I know. It, it's just a, an animal instinct, actually. It's just like anything. They lick their wounds. This poor podcast has devolved. <laughs> yeah, we've got no more. You know what, Josh? You pick someone then, huh? What? Yeah, huh? Josh, let's you don't want to talk about volleyball? You don't want to talk about whatever else there was? That 90s show? Exactly. Uh. Josh, <laughs> what have you been playing recently besides Yakuza? And Neo? Neo, you said that already? Yeah. Uh. What else? <laughs> Eric, what have you been playing recently? I don't really play much video games. A bit, Risk, I play of Risk of Rain. Rain. Hell yeah, dude. NHL. Boring. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what else. <laughs> Valheim. Valheim. I think yeah. that's slowing down though. Yeah, I haven't played since the one time I played. Yeah. <laughs> and I uh, I've made a Valheim server for the boys. Me and the boys. Yeah. And like, it's gotten to the point where like there's two opposing clans. And... It's that uh, I don't want them to be opposing. But I, do. Opposing. <laughs> I do. I do. 
I, I hate that guy. I was okay with What's it. What's wrong with him? <laughs> oh. Found out. I know. We know who that is. Uh oh. Okay, don't no, say his no, oh, was, Don't say his full name. I thought it was. Uh, <laughs> but is that right? N- yeah. I thought it was. Uh oh. Who's uh oh? Not him. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. We're gonna have to. Bleep yeah, that just anyway. just mute just mute the last names. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti out. Um. But yeah, Jeff invited him, mm-hmm. and then he and then he was he. I remember him. He he was in call, and he was like. I have, like, 400 hours in this game, so I, like, know what to do, where I'm going. Okay. And, like, literally, he joined. He's already recruiting, like, wolves. Oh. <laughs> it was fucked. We just got, like, fucking copper or something. It's like, I'm yeah, we, some we got the copper, and then he's he's already ran to the mountains, made a hut, yeah. recruited, started recruiting wolves, brought them back. Uh-huh. Now we have, now our base is full of wolves. It's okay, I've been, I've been knocking them down. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I go to visit, I get out my knife, just start cutting down those wolves. Oh we named some of them, though. We wanted to keep some I of them. I renamed them. You a lot, renamed of, a lot them. of them got renamed. One of them was Inside Wolf for a while. That was them. Yeah. Oh, was you guys killed Inside Wolf? No, no, no. Inside Wolf's there. I, <laughs> okay. I was going to, but I didn't have my knife the last time I played. <laughs> but I did rename them a lot of them to Connor. Uh. <laughs> and then uh, I have declared war, so. Yeah. Eric recruited all like us I to perform- join. I am going to perform a heist at some point. <laughs> to it, went, it, went from a, it went from a raid to a heist. He was like, we're going to raid them. Then he's like, we're going to perform a heist. <laughs> it's going to be secret. I have a plan. I have a huge plan in, in mind. You guys are going to be Rob Blind. <laughs> You'll never find me. Yeah, you just oh, take your name God. off the map. Make a new base. Put it somewhere I like else. How I like how we're trying to do PvP and this is a co-op server. <laughs> You can no, PvP. they ruined it. I know you can PvP, but like they stole our bronze, so I'm to get revenge. Oh yeah, they didn't, yeah, they stole a bunch of your shit. They're just really, bronze, like, I think. Okay, they had you had like like almost like a hundred bronze, and you just like came you know, back and you had three. No, those thirty bronze. <laughs> Whatever. They you know. brought over all the stuff so you guys could take it too, right? Oh, uh, that was they never were... established. That was you saying it, and I was getting I was getting so mad because you're like, when the they were coming, they're like, yeah, you can take anything. And then they came to our base and started taking shit. I was like, not that wasn't here, the, That wasn't the deal. It was like, yeah, we were, we're working together. It's like, we're not really, Josh. We're it's okay. Cool. It's okay. When I joined, I uh, spawned, like, right next to their base. Yeah. Uh, your base, yeah. I believe. And uh, I just started taking stuff. Not taking, but, like, like I was naked. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna, oh bronze axe. All right, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, I yeah. need some armor. Sure, I'll take some of that. Yeah, the, the hand-me-downs. The hand-me-downs yeah. are right. Well, yeah. yeah, the hand-me-downs, of course. It's like, not, they're not going to be new stuff. <laughs> Plus, I don't, have the, I don't have the crafting skill to be like, oh, I'm going to make all iron armor <laughs> or whatever. And, like, the, the, so the funny part about me making this server was because I wanted to stream it again, right? Mm-hmm. And you haven't streamed <laughs> I streamed twice. <laughs> I stream twice, and I, I do want to continue to stream it. Mm-hmm. Oh, but you can't handle it, can you? But, yeah, the, for some reason, my PC's like, hey, I don't, because... actually, I don't like you streaming Valheim. It's, uh, it's because you're streaming, playing, and hosting. And hosting a server, yeah. yeah. So, so it's like I'm issue. doing like 10 million things at once. Why don't you just buy a new PC, Josh, for, just for streaming? Come on. <sighs> With all that money you've got. Streaming your money. <laughs> okay, can you stop knocking shit off this table, Embryon? So she does that. She gets up here and then she swings her tail around and just knocks everything off this table. She like, stopped putting stuff on the table. She already knocked over this bottle. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about uh, probably by the end of next year, mm. like just starting to think about upgrading my PC. Mm, okay, I still need but, to do that. Mine's um, so fucking bad. Yeah, an- another one would be good. I just don't know. I don't have the funds for it yet. Yeah, yeah. I need to start taking sponsorships. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You should, honestly. That's I the whole point, right? I, just, yeah, I, know, I know you guys said to do it, and I just haven't done it yet. Cause Taking sponsorships. Getting sponsors. What sponsorships? For Twitch. Like, yeah. Who's like, sponsoring you? Just, like, because uh, cause I use stream elements for my things. They give you opportunities to... Get sponsors. Like, HelloFresh. Uh, that's the main one I see. HelloFresh and uh, uh, Raid. Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Hello Shadow Fresh. Legends. Do HelloFresh. Give it to me. Do HelloFresh. Give it to me. Yeah, the thing is, though, like, I want to try it for myself before I'm like, okay, I want I want to promote can, this. Can right? I be completely honest with you? Yeah. My parents use it. They love it. HelloFresh? HelloFresh. They love it. We, uh, 
they gave us one of their recipes once. Yeah. And I loved it. It was so good. It comes with like little like cards, like the recipe yeah. cards that are pre like they're like laminated and they're pre hold so you can put them in a binder and like make your own HelloFresh recipe book. Yeah. And then yeah, it comes with all the ingredients. I loved it. it I made like it was like some kind of quesadilla or empanada or something like that. Okay. Really good. Yeah, I I, I was trying to ask my parents like if they wanted to try it. Mm-hmm. And like I, I don't know if they talked about it at all yet, but yeah, I'm like yeah, my parents okay. loved it. I'm willing. I'm willing to. I'm willing to like, cause like I don't want to do a sponsorship for something I don't believe in. Yeah. That's right. Fair. And if I don't know <clears throat> what it is, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know what to do. Yeah. No, that's that's right? completely fair. Like I, if I were to ever get like, like big enough to be sponsored, I'd do the same thing. Like I wouldn't just be like, yeah, I'm sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. You know, the game I've never even touched. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's get down, <laughs> Athena. They can flush. Yeah, they can flush the toilet. Oh. Athena, get down, you silly bitch. Just like that's also kind of useful though. Like if you guys need to pee and you yeah. forgot the flush, <laughs> cat's got it. Oh yeah. Um. And yeah, like that's another thing. Like it's just annoying in the middle. Raid of Shadow life. Legends, right? I don't know if I want to. I don't because the the thing that you need for to do that one is you actually have to play the game. No. And I don't want to play the game. Don't you need to like record? <laughs> yeah. You, you yeah, have to stream like, it for like four hours. Somebody else's like uh, footage. footage. <laughs> no, 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 no. And be like, "This is Red Shadow Legends." <laughs> you, you can just, <laughs> um, like, sorry, that was my Tamagotchi that I talked about on episode one. Oh yeah, the uh, the the Jujutsu Kaisen Jujutsu one. Jujutsu Kaisen one. Yeah, yeah. I got the. They made them really small now. I don't see anything. Small and bulbous. It's uh, it's Inamaki. Oh my, oh. Oh, he's not. He's hungry. Hang on. Yo, that's a Game Boy screen, dude. I can't see yeah, anything see right now. <laughs> All right, hang on here. Get, you get a good angle. And you uh, yeah, even if I get a good angle, I'm not going to be able to see it. Wait, it's an egg now. Yeah. And, and oh, okay. I see it now. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, what's up? He's like, I'm happy. <laughs> Did you just feed him? Yeah, I just feed him. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was I talking about? Sponsored. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid, Sha- Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Not sponsored. Not sponsored by this podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, j- I just like, okay, I don't know if I want to, because I don't know if I believe in that game, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think yeah, there's a lot think... of people like who are sponsored by him, when they're doing the ad, they're like, it's sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, you know. <laughs> you, you know it is. Yeah. yeah. They sponsor everybody. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> and like it's definitely worth it to do. So maybe I'll maybe I will try it. Yeah, that's how you but get paid. Right? Hello Fresh. Yeah. Give me the I food. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do Hello Fresh. I would, yeah, I would do Hello Fresh. Um, yeah, my my parents they said they 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 do it like three nights a week, and uh, like so it's like a, the, one of the more expensive plans. Yeah. Um, and uh, they they like it because I like. I need a brat. Well, my dad doesn't work anymore. He's retired now. Yeah. But uh, when he was working and my brother was going to school and uh, my mom was working as well, they didn't, like, he, my dad would work, like, late and my mom would work until, like, six. Mm-hmm. And then like, my brother would get home from school at, like, three. So instead of uh, him having to make food for everybody, it would just be, like, HelloFresh would show up and they'd, they'd... Hold, hold it for the entire week and be like, oh, we'll, we'll have it this night or whatever. So yeah. it's just something they don't have to, like, think about. Yeah. And it's... Comes and they just get the food portions. delivered, and then they can make it whatever. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, that's a really, really nice thing. Really good. Like, oh, uh, yeah, I'll definitely service. I, I thought about like just doing it myself, um, for here, just because like nobody wants to cook here, and <laughs> it's hard to get like ingredients here because yeah. like everyone's a picky eater in this house, but me. <laughs> so like everything is like one thing. It's like fried chicken or like whatever, right? Yeah. So okay, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do that though. Mm-hmm. Um, I would recommend. And then, what? like, there's some other ones, too. Like, I would love to do a G Fuel one. A G Fuel one would be great. I would love to do a G Fuel one. Honestly? Like, like, just trying this one here. Mm-hmm. Like, that was good. The only, good. I've not done it yet, but. Yeah, my only issue with G Fuel is that it's so expensive in Canada. Just because, like, it, it's 35 bucks for a tub, which is fine, because you get 60 servings in a tub. Yeah. yeah but that's $35 U.S., so it comes to it, and it's got to be you got to pay like, for shipping and it's stuff. It's almost like fifty bucks, and, and, and then uh, it becomes like seventy dollars for shipping for one tub. Yeah. So it's like uh, I'm paying like a dollar over a dollar a day just for like a thing like for uh, G Fuel, right? For like per serving. Yeah. Um. So it's just 
not worth it unless they're doing like a buy one get one sale for me. That's why I like I got the yeah. one and I was like that was expensive, so I waited for a two for one. Two yeah, for one. and they do that pretty often. They Didn't do. Didn't I give you that I one? Think you gave me the the Naruto one, but I bought the Monster Hunter one, oh. and then I finished it, and I bought another Monster Hunter one with the the Fallout one. Okay. Yeah, the Monster Hunter one is my my favorite. I really like it. But they've got a lot of cool flavors. They've got like an Elden Ring one. Um, I know Moist Critical has his own flavor. Yeah. Uh, PewDiePie's got like three of them. Nin- Ninja has a few. A lot of they've got Angry a lot Joe, of like, yeah. yeah. They've got a lot of flavors like that and like game flavors. Um, I know there's uh, there's one that's coming out soon. A new like a Diablo one. Dead um, Space. Dead Space. There's a new Dead Space one coming out. Imagine what that tastes like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it tastes like. Tastes like Necromorph. <laughs> they, uh, I think they call it. Oh fuck! What was it called? I can't remember. They, they. I get the promotional emails from them because I like to know. Like yeah. uh, the the G Fuel the Nuka Cola Quantum one that came out was. Uh, it came out with a collector's edition. No. Yeah. And uh, you get like a lunchbox with it, like mm. the the lunchbox from the game. No. Yeah. Fancy cup. A fancy cup and everything. It was really cool. Um, but sold I, it was like sold out hour. immediately. Oh really? So I couldn't get it. Uh, yeah, the Dead sense. Space one is called Plasma Energy. Oh, okay. Um, but the flavor is... Give me one second here. I'm pulling it up. It is supposedly... Plasma Energy. All right, let me read the description. Yeah. As you wander the empty corridor of the USG Ishimura, you hear a clunking in the exhaust pipes. A mysterious growl and a screech echo through the darkness, sending you... Oh, it fucking jumped. Stop it. Sending you running in panic from the unseen horror, your mind screams a single word, escape. With only a plasma cutter by your side, you race to bring the power back on so that you can make your hasty retreat. Suddenly a nightmarish creature bursts out of a vent, decaying flesh and arms with razor-sharp bones protruding like blades. You quickly remember the message uh, the ill-fated crew left. Cut off their limbs. Drink G Fuel. Drink G Fuel. <laughs> Isaac Clark. <laughs> and so, without hesitation, <laughs> you aim for their arms and legs. Uh, you've afforded yourself a brief moment to catch your breath. You look down <laughs> to see a new power up. It's the G Fuel Plasma <laughs> Energy Collector's Box, inspired by Motive Studios' exhilarating Dead Space remake. It's a deliciously sweet strawberry candy flavor. Uh, that is out out of this world and scary good. Okay, that's like strawberry. <laughs> that's funny. It's uh, <laughs> like a strawberry candy flavor. But they've got a lot of cool ones. Um, this is this this episode is just kind of turned into <laughs> reading G Fuel ad. <laughs> yeah, reading like you're just talking about G Fuel and stuff. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a Gundam <laughs> one. It's mel. It's Ramune melon flavor. Okay. Uh, they got a Kamehameha, which is strawberry lychee. Hmm. Um, they've Kamea got Hidden Power, Citrus Freeze. Ooh. Um, they've got a, a Liquid Lullaby, which I think that's Dead by Daylight, right? Like, yeah. Uh, caramel I, caramel I, Apple, I, Binding <laughs> of Isaac, Isaac's Tears. Oh, yeah. White Grape grape Pineapple, uh, Unstable Portal Fluid, Rick and Morty, uh, Strawberry Limeade, uh, Spyro, which is just Ooh. Dragon Fruit. And it's called Dragon Fruit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum, that's not from a game. Purple Con- Dragon. Conquer's Bad Fruit. Oh my god! Mighty Poo, which is tropical corn soda. Uh, yeah. Okay. Corn, yeah. So, okay. they've got a lot of flavors. Like, the the funny part I think about G Fuel is, like, they, the name of the flavor, and then I think about, like, I don't think about what's actually the flavor, what yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what does Monster Hunter taste like? Yeah. What does Isaac Tears taste like? Mm-hmm. Like, ew. Something salty. Yeah. <laughs> Monster Hunter would just, yeah, the Mega Potions just taste like, what, uh, <laughs> Ivy? No, uh, Herbs and Blue Mushrooms. Her- herbs and Blue Mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's a Mega Potion, doing? so there's a little bit of honey yeah. in there, too. Not really. Oh. <laughs> You're just chewing on my boob? Yep. <laughs> Why? Got that right. The oh, only sorry, thing- my boob. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is that some things that would sound like they would have certain flavors aren't those flavors. Like, Nuka Cola Quantum is supposed to be like a soda. Yeah. Right? So I would imagine it being kind of like Coca Cola or um, with with Quantum flavored, I would think closer to maybe like Mountain Dew. Okay. Yeah. Right? 
lemon lime, maybe uh, yeah, like a blue does raspberry it, or something. It doesn't taste like Coke. No, it doesn't taste like, is, it, you know, it's would, fine, like what it would taste like, I think. <clears throat> um, some things like do work, but yeah, other ones I don't, I don't know. Mm. Like the Dead Space one even, like strawberry for an energy. Blood? No, I mean just like <laughs> strawberry blood. When you when you see like the in Dead Space, the plasma energy is it's like blue. Yeah. Right. And then that's and so so blue strawberry. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You'd think it'd be something blue. Maybe like I would do blueberry. like blueberry. Yeah. yeah. Or like blue raspberry, something like that. But then you'd have a lot of blue raspberry yeah. flavors because everything is fucking blue. I'm surprised they haven't done like Pokemon ones yet. Oh, I. Yeah, they could do all the fucking berries. Yeah, I think I don't know if they have because I think Nintendo's a fucking yeah. bitch when it comes to that stuff. Um, yeah, Nintendo's very like protective of their brands. Yeah, so I think that's their main thing. I know they're partnering. Nintendo's partnering with uh, Samsung for some stuff. They've got like a Samsung phone coming out, like uh, like actual like phone and like phone case. Um, they've got okay. uh, uh, a case for like the the, it's for the buds here. Fucking so Pokemon it's like, it's Go a Pokeball case. Oh, that's gonna be like sixty dollars. Yeah. It's like sixty dollars US. Really? Yeah. Oh, yep. There and you go. Uh, the only reason I haven't bought it is because it's so oval shaped. And because it's $60 it's not like US. a purse. Hmm? And because it's sixty dollars US. That too, yeah. yeah. But like, if if I could get my hands on it, gotta get uh, it like delivered would, and pay all the freaking other. Yeah, extra it, it's, shit. it's Pokeball sized, like a small Pokeball sized, right? So it'd be like that big. Yeah. Um, but like it. Like, maybe like two inches across for anyone who can't see. Um, but then it's very like oval shaped, like almost like a football because instead of making it a perfect circle, would you think Nintendo partnering with something would make a really good quality product and make it as accurate as possible? No, no, no. it is oval ish. It's kind of annoying, but you know, kind of like this shit. Oh, Raycon. Oh yeah, Raycon. That's another sponsor I would like to have. Actually, I've heard Raycon earbuds are really good. It uh, it is good. (laughs) That's all. That's all I have to say. There's your ad. It's uh, Raycon earbuds. Raycon, uh, good. Good good games are good. Good Good earbuds. Use my code to buy Raycon everyday (laughs) earbud, and uh, that's it. (laughs) Actually, not sponsored. (laughs) No, like. Oh, those are headphones there too. Yeah, these are the uh, the Samsung. Uh, which one are these? Galaxy Buds, something like that. Okay. Right? So they're they're nice and petite. Oh yeah. And uh, wireless charge and stuff like that. There you go. And you can charge them. I'm pretty sure you can charge them from your phone because uh, the Samsung phones have um, like battery sharing. So like you can oh, use yeah. wireless charging on two uh, Samsung phones to charge each other. So like you can like if my battery's at like 100 percent. And yours is at like thirty. I can give you some of my battery power, which is insane to me. I just, I don't, it blows yeah, my like, fucking mind. But that means if my headphones are dead, I can use my phone to charge my headphones. That's uh, wirelessly too. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like thinking, I'm like, is that a good idea? I mean, it, it is. is. Like, it, it, people, if you're using it, yeah. it's a good idea. But like, wouldn't that like? fuck things up you'd like think, internally right? like you'd think but yeah. whatever man with phones nowadays how they're like they're being like bought every, like a new phone every two years or whatever right yeah. no so no I've, I've had mine for I like bought my first like, phone this year <laughs> I've had mine for the last four years <laughs> mm. so. like, next so thing you know next thing you know like I'm like I'm, I'm assuming you guys have like seen like sci-fi shows with like fucking blue lights and yeah. people like let's say like like Iron Man like Iron Man mm-hmm. like it's phone nowadays like Iron phones Man. in the future they're just gonna be like Iron Man fucking and then there's that's, a phone right there that's actually something that I think everyone's like oh I'm so excited for that I don't think I would be excited for that because you would have no privacy yeah, it's yeah. Like it's the watch thing yeah. go up Everyone sees it, yeah. like, on the other side. It, sure, it's mirrored, but, like, yeah, everything, like, oh, man, I'm texting this, like, right? Yeah. If I was texting you, like, hey, I love you, everyone outside can be, like, <laughs> guy's yeah, texting his them. girlfriend. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, like you've received, like, like, it's like you. You're texting, like, some girl, <laughs> and she sends you a fucking nude. Now her nude is just in the fucking air. Yeah, everyone can see. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you don't get nudes. Don't ask for them. Yeah, you don't ask for them. Don't care. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Except that one. But girl. you get them anyway. Those girls are just like your profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hers. Yeah. Oh, uh, she chose it, or did you put it there? No, that's her. Okay. That's what she put out there. Oh, I thought you like just had her as like that's her photo no. in your contacts. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like how Ren is Lucina for me. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, like even even like. Even like tap technology when you're paying stuff a tap. Yeah, that's like so I even at annoying. that point I'm like I don't know if I, I don't know if I want. There's a a thing that I was doing. Mm-hmm. I don't want this in my mouth anymore. <laughs> okay. There's a thing that I was buying. Yeah. And uh, like it was tap, and I pulled out my thing, so the machine's here. Mm-hmm. I pulled out my card, and from there it like read it. Yeah, that's. I was like, okay. That's scary. Like how and how wide NFC range is now. Yeah. Like. Our TV, like, I can send whatever I'm watching to our TV through NFC. So yeah. it's like, go up and tap the side of the TV. And I was like, sure. I'm just walking by the TV half the time, and it goes, Bleh! and I'm like, I don't want to, <laughs> I'm not even, I just have my phone out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, so there's been times where, I, like, I have my phone in my hand, and I do this to, like, stand up. And it's like, it registers that far. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. That's too far. Yeah. If someone walks by me on the street, they can be like, tap payment. Oh, like. Oh. Right? That's so scary to me. Yeah. Like, I like the convenience, but I also dislike the... There needs to be some, like, kind of fail the, the lack of security. Yeah. <laughs> That's why, like, wallets nowadays all have, like, uh, NFC protectors, so that you keep your card in it, yeah. and people can't just, like, tap something on your wallet and get all your fucking card information. Yeah. That's why, like, having kids would be fucked. Because, like, you just take your card and just... Oh, I know. That's... So, yeah, like, yeah. every time I see a customer do that, I'm like, that's that's dangerous, you mm-hmm. know? But at the same time, so convenient. So nice. <laughs> I love not having to put my pin in. Half, half the, time. the time, my card doesn't even work. Though. Yeah. And it goes, like, card can't tap. It's like, well, fuck. Okay. I was about to say the same thing. Like, like, I know for sure this year I have money. Yeah, it's I, not, I have money. Work. I've got enough money. I haven't used my tap in the last week. I know it works. So it's not like there's a limit. And it just doesn't work sometimes. Yeah. No. Uh, that's that's annoying. Like, I have to order a new card still. Mm-hmm. And it's like, either I call them and they deliver it, but I can't use my shit for three days. Or I go to a branch and I'm like, fuck, I'll go to a branch that. Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> I think <laughs> so annoying. I got a new card because I finally changed my address. <laughs> so I got a new debit card, but I don't think they canceled my old one. Because okay. all, like, my accounts are on my old card. Oh. And they've been just good for months. Just... And you're like, I, I swear, yeah. oh no, it's because I lost my wallet. Mm-hmm. So my old card's still out there somewhere. Yeah, I don't know how that works, because there's definitely, like, I've cancelled certain cards, but then I still get, like, payments for, like, that from stuff. Yeah, yeah like Netflix and all that shit, it's still going through. Yeah, that's it's like, why I didn't change my I think I think it's weird, like, once you, like, in my opinion, I think it's, like, granted this is from someone who doesn't know that much about technology. No. Um, maybe it's like, okay, you type in your card information and then they route it through your bank number, like your branch. Yeah. So it comes straight from your account, not through your card. Yeah. I think that's how they've been doing it now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Cause, uh, they can keep the card numbers and stuff the same, but they, yeah, I think the back number just changed. I think like, yeah, just the number, just the one on the back. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean like, like, cause like you're. Let's say you, like, do direct deposit for something. Yeah. And you've got, like, your branch number, and you've got your, like, transit, whatever, your yeah, transit yeah, yeah. number, and stuff like that. So I think once you give certain companies your card, it goes through and gets that number instead of, like, your card number. Yeah. Right? So you yeah. can change your card as many times as you want, and they could be completely different numbers. That's but kind of they, fucked. Yeah. That's the only thing. So if you want to, <laughs> to stop paying for everything, you have to be like, I want to quit the bank. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I'm, I'm I want to quit... <laughs> And I don't want, I want to quit that and, Netflix anymore. and yeah. want to pay with cash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going off the grid. Netflix, take my cash, please. <laughs> what are the ads coming for Netflix? I thought it was happening this month. I fucking, I hope it doesn't. Wait, I, that, they're adding ads to Netflix? Unless Netflix. you pay more. Yeah. You they're there. adding ads to paid Netflix. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unless you pay, uh, like, for Netflix Another Plus, six essentially. Bucks. Yeah. What the fuck? And f- then also you can't, it's something with the accounts, you can't, you can't have multiple locations. Yeah. It's fucking... Like long down or whatever? Oh, yeah. my parents like, mentioned that one. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't mention anything about the ad. Which stupid. means we're going to lose our Netflix here. Yeah, because you can only have two profiles on that account then, too. Oh. 
That's so dumb. Yeah. Netflix needs to just stop. Like, I understand they're trying to make money, but pff, fucking stop. Stop. You're gonna, you're gonna chase off so many customers. So many people are... Netflix for asking mm-hmm. nicely, stop. It's like Walmart <laughs> with their security message. Yeah. Just, just Walmart. Just stop stealing from there. Stop. <laughs> you're not, you don't get my business. <laughs> Jokes on them. I steal so many road hockey balls from Walmart. <laughs> I just rip the tag off. There we go. I'm not paying two bucks for a bowl. Oh. <laughs> Beep bowl. Um. Fuck, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Netflix. Fucking. I hope they're. Even if they do ads, I hope it's not as bad as YouTube. I'm oh. so annoyed with YouTube. Oh, I ads. think it's going to be pretty fucking bad. It's like, what? Ads every, like, three minutes. Or two or three minutes. And they're, like, two. Two ads on YouTube now, and like sometimes you can't skip them at all. Yeah, I think it's like it's TV ridiculous. ads. They're doing to Netflix. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, like I, I don't, I don't see any YouTube ads because I have, uh, you have YouTube Plus Premium, Premium yeah, whatever. Yeah, which I've been thinking about investing in that just because it's so annoying. No, but that's the that's... only issue. It's like I don't want to pay for YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about doing YouTube. the same thing for Twitch, but I'm like, no, mm. no. I upload on YouTube. Yeah. I don't wanna I want YouTube to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't upload on YouTube anymore. At least not often. I think one of the things Netflix was saying too is like, Oh, the ads you can like get up, grab a snack, do something. Yeah, and everybody's like, Or we can just pause. Yeah. We can just pause whatever we're watching. Mm-hmm. Like there's like okay, I I get because you wanted that you wanna have advertisers on your because they do they do have if you don't pay for Netflix, you're not watch, getting to watch any of the shows, though, right? Yeah, that's the only thing, right? So, so why... If, if they're ridiculous. making all these shows, they're making money, then. Yeah, yeah they're, they're making, making all the shows and making money. They're all, adding ads, they're making more money. But no, we have to pay paying more. customers are already having an ad-free experience, so why... Just, yeah, they're just going to hinder their experience. What? <laughs> just making Netflix hated how YouTube is be, becoming hated. Like... Even even Twitch is bad. Mm-hmm. Like I would, like if you sub to someone on Twitch, mm-hmm. you don't see any, right? Unless unless, unless the streamer yeah. decides to run them, right? Yeah. But like, I I do for me, I do my best to like not have any ads pop up. Yeah. They might still because they you do know right when you join. Yeah. yeah, they do it when you join. Yeah. yeah. Even if you're subscribed, I'm pretty sure. It's always like a tease, too. I get like a sick, a second yeah. of you. It's like, oh, there's Josh. And then and I, it's like, I'm like, fuck! <laughs> and it's, it's always like a full 30 second ad. Yeah. You can't see yeah. it. That's, it's a little annoying. But I it's... understand, like, Twitch has to make money somehow. And they have to pay you somehow. Yeah, but I, I actually don't have pre rolls on. Like, I should probably. You should, honestly. Turn like... them on? But, like, I find it's like, okay, it's annoying to the viewer. Yeah, that, I, I get uh, it. But, like, at the same time, like, I know there's a lot of streamers that, like, yes, they run ads, but they don't run them often. Yeah. So it's like, alright, guys, I'm gonna go g- grab a glass of water. Here's two ads. Like, you're not gonna be watching anything anyway. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna be not at my chair. There's gonna be no content coming through. This way, at least, I get a little bit of money from Twitch. Right? Yeah. Like, I can run an ad or yeah. whatever, right? Like, I think I should... Yeah, I think I should put the auto-re-roll back on. Mm-hmm. Hey, because I've, I've had it off for the longest time, so maybe I'll turn it back on and just do, like, every... Why? Maybe every hour and 30 minutes, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I think... Like, yeah, if you're going to, like, run ads, you should do, like, a timer or something so that you know when they're going to run ads. That way you don't, like, continue playing or, like, someone yeah. misses something important. In the story, right? And then just like yeah, on the on the I have a chat bot, so I can just have it set up to be like, hey, I'm gonna be running ads. Add in thirty seconds or whatever. Or... Yeah. I don't know. It's still stream nub, stream nub. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm a little stream nub. I'm a strummer nub. And I, and honestly, also, like, do I stay on Twitch? Do I go back? Do I go to YouTube? Like I. I'm still considering that uh, join Mixer change. <laughs> join, but that Mixer doesn't exist no. anymore. No, I don't know. Can you <laughs> what? Can you not do both? I can, but it's not a good idea. Once you get like a contract with them, you can. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a contract no. though. So I'm, just, I'm only just affiliate. You're a free whore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is though, if I do end up streaming to both, mm-hmm. I I think. It's at a disadvantage because I'm not focusing on, like, 
I, I, I gotta focus on two chats. Yeah, right? yeah. And I think the stream will also take a hit because um, streaming to two it's, locations. Yeah, and it's just more to what your computer needs to do. Yeah, no, I get it. <clears throat> Yeah, once you get, like, a, a actual streaming computer, if you ever do, then yeah. that, I think, you yeah, stream to multiple places, because then that's all your computer's, like, your streaming computer's handling, right? Yeah. So. It's either that or I stick with one, and I, yeah. I think, I think if Twitch continues to, like, fuck up, mm -hmm. and, like, do make bad decisions and, like, shit like that, yeah, and I don't know, I'm gonna make the switch to YouTube, mm -hmm. but I'm just, I'm, like, I was considering it, like... When they decided, like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna ban someone that doesn't deserve to get banned, like at all. Who was that? I don't remember. It's been a while since that story, but like, okay. Um. Basically, basically, their banning process is like inconsistent because, um, I don't know. Like, they would ban someone that deserves to be banned. But they would only be banned for, like, a couple days. While someone that gets banned doesn't deserve to be banned. Is perma-banned. Is perma-banned, yeah. Huh. It's just, like, why? Like, like tomorrow I could be perma-banned for, for no reason. fucking reason, yeah. right? And it's like, sure, YouTube might do the same thing, but, like, I don't... And, yeah, with YouTube, I feel like, yeah, you can... It's a, I feel like it's a safer... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Platform. Apparently, YouTube is a lot better for their content creators. Yeah. Um, I was watching a clip of uh, Ludwig yeah. talking about like his switch from Twitch to YouTube, um, where like YouTube, like they like reached out to him saying, like, "Hey, can you come over to to YouTube and like like sign a contract with us?" Yeah. And uh, he thought about it, and they they offered him. They made him like I think like two or three different offers, all with more money. Yeah. Um, and then when he was he was like, "Let me see what Twitch will say." Yeah. Like he's like, hey, I'm, hey, Twitch, I'm thinking about going over to YouTube. Um, they're offering me this amount of money, blah, blah, blah. And Twitch just said, good luck. Good luck with your endeavors. They yeah. didn't try to, like, keep him or anything. And that's when he was like, okay, so Twitch doesn't care about their content creators. Yeah. YouTube cares more. Yeah. So. And plus, like, moved. plus, like, they're also, like, evolving YouTube still. Like, there's, yeah. they're adding in raids. They're adding in, I think, recently, like, emotes and stuff. Okay. Like, like I could be, like, way off, but, mm -hmm. like. They're, they are becoming more and more, um, like, what Twitch is. Yeah. So it's, like, I'm cons I'm still very strongly considering switching over. Mm. It's just I've already built that... you built... I've already whole, built like, that base, right? Yeah, so it's like, I think, personally, I would probably stay with Twitch until you've built, like, a bigger fan base, and they're offering you a contract, and then see what YouTube says. Yeah. Like, tell your viewers, like, okay, I'm going to be doing YouTube as well help me grow there, blah, 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 and then you'll quickly, you'll, like, spike yeah. right on YouTube because everyone's going over to YouTube and just doing whatever they're doing. Yeah. And then you can be like, all right, YouTube, I have this many viewers, blah, blah, blah. Um, what are you going to offer me? Twitch, what are you going to offer me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that would be the way to go. Stick to one until you're big enough that... You, or the, unless, the jump or unless I... Difference. I disagree with another decision. Yeah, that exactly. Make. Like, it, Twitch <laughs> becomes, like, absolute dog shit that yeah. absolutely like yeah change over without hesitation but until then i would yeah try to build your base on one until they decide like or uh, like until it's it, yes yeah, swapping to a, a different platform isn't gonna like hinder you yeah. a lot because like right now like yeah you, you've got like what like 250 followers or something like that two i think as of yesterday 219 okay yeah. So yeah, like in the the like mid still very small, it's still small, yeah. yeah. But like and like your viewers, right? So, like switching right now, it would be essentially restarting. Yeah. Whereas like if you were to switch when you've got like a couple thousand viewers or uh, like subscribers and stuff like that, you could be like, all right, I'm switching, and they'll all go over, or most of them will go over immediately. Yeah. Right. Like during the stream, even. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I would uh, wait until you're a little bigger for that. Okay. Wait until you've grown up a little, Josh. Yeah. No longer a boy. You guys still call me child. <laughs> Drink your milk. This guy's a small. Eric, be careful. Oh, I'm, I'm Breon, right? Yeah. Like the Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Ah! I'm being stabbed by a pencil! <laughs> oh! That would have been a pencil. A pencil. Okay. 
Hey. Robin, what do you want to <laughs> talk about? Let's, 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 hear, let's hear from you. Ribbon! New Spongebob came Squeaky? out. Squeaky? What'd you say, woman? Huh? She didn't say What's anything. What's the 411? What's the, uh... 911? Nope. You were right. 418. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Robin, why don't you talk about uh, this new Spongebob game that came out today? No, don't. What's going on? What's going... Why the red, huh? Why the red hair? Robin dyed her hair red uh, this week. And Cameron cut it. And I cut it. Why the red hair? Oh. Okay. That's been ribbon. I wanted red or green. No, he can't do green. He already did green. I have not done green. He's done green. I did blue. He did blue. It looked green. It did look green. Not as green as Evans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's green. He's writing a book. He's writing a book? Yeah. About what? I don't know. Apparently he's been working on it for nine years. And then he's going to write D&D stuff. The story of Lulu. What? Ren should sue him for the rights. <laughs> <laughs> he's the one that held the campaign, Yeah, it was his campaign. He's but... the one that held the campaign. Damn. So he owns Lulu. No, Kevin owns Lulu. Does he? Lulu came from Pathfinder. When Kevin was oh yeah, I guess Kevin he did. Was DMing. And, oh yeah, and Ren created Lulu, so technically because it was Pegida. So technically, Fire Emblem owns Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm petting a cat. Mm-hmm. Don't you pet my pussy? <laughs> you don't have one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Josh, do you have pets? Yeah, dog. Remember I got, a, I got Robin, a. Robin's never seen it. Small Robin's dog. Never been there. Got a small dog. What's it called Marco? Spike. Ah. <laughs> Clark. Way off. Way off. It was close. So do you, you like the... cats? Oh, I, I like cats. Yeah. Yeah. They're just hard to clean up after, Take I think. That bitch. I guess they can be. Can you like cats? Neighborhood. Yeah. How so? Like, neighborhood. I remember when we had, because we had a, I had a cat. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a long time ago, though. We had to, like, oh my god, a litter box. Yep. Literally all the freaking, all the, all the. Like all the all the floors of the house. What? You get cat litter like all over the floor. That's a lot of litter boxes. Well, I don't, I don't know. I I, there, I remember taking care of our, our are of four our cat cats was in this room. was uh. He's talking about his cat. Yeah, they have my one... former cat. If I don't, I no longer have yeah, this cat. You have one cat, and they had and litter boxes like, every floor. How many was... litter boxes do you think are in this room? One, one, three, the bathroom. three, three. There are three litter boxes in this room. They're all in the closet. Every single one of them is in the closet. Why? That's that's a dirty closet. That's where your clothes are. Your clothes are gonna smell like cat poo. No. Like if you know how to maintain a cat, it's like it's you know it's easy. But like you're supposed to have uh, one, one more. more litter box and you have cats. That way, when you have multiple uh, cats, if you've got one cat, one. Uh, yeah. But uh, no, you should have two. If uh, I think the vet was saying it doesn't matter. No, you should have two if you have one. The main reason is because. They they like to separate their their ones and twos, mm -hmm. yeah. and then when you have multiple cats, they guard them. Yeah. So like when we had uh, we only had two cats, um, we had one litter box, and uh, one of them would just lie in front of the closet, yeah. and just kind of like guard it essentially, mm -hmm. so the other one couldn't go yeah. use the bath like use the litter yeah. box, so uh, she would just pee on our stuff. Like on like a pile of clothes on the ground or whatever. Yeah. Until we got a second litter box and put it in the bathroom so he couldn't guard both at once. No. Yeah. But we haven't had that issue anymore because they're all girls now. Yeah. So there's no like guarding. There's, there's no dominance. The only being the, the only dominance is Athena, the smallest one, likes to fucking pick on Temmy, the big one up there. But because Temmy is so big, she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> so you're telling me when I had two flits and all those kittens, I should have had more than one litter box. Yeah. Um. With, yeah, yeah, more than one. Well, with, I didn't. With, with kids. They all shared. <laughs> they all <laughs> shared. It's a little, it's a little different. <laughs> Especially considering it was also mom. Okay. Maybe yeah. if you had, if you had kept all the kittens and let them grown up together, it would have gotten complicated, but. Or if they were all like not related, not grown up from like birth kind of thing. Because mm. then they wouldn't be as close. Well, they're dead. So. Not to dead. me. They're, Are you they're sure? dead to you. To me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, Eric, mm. Eric found a pregnant cat and took it in, and then it had kittens. That whore. Good guy, Eric. Whore. Taking mm. in whores. He no longer Frozen has that whore. cat. <laughs> Literally had to climb a tree to save a cat. 
Good I'm boy. a fireman. You are a fireman. <laughs> that. Or a spiderman. <laughs> that's the sound of my hose. Back, back, you know. that's, the, don't, that's, the, don't. that's the sound of your web shooters. <laughs> I watched that all again recently. Spectacular Spider-Man? So good. So I good. haven't seen it. I was going to kill you. I've never seen it. I've seen a few episodes, but... <laughs> There's one episode. It's my yeah. favorite one. Okay. They they ask him to test out a new uh, super cell for, like, the test out cells for super villains. Yeah. So like, hey, Spidey, come on here, test out the cell, see if you can escape. Mm-hmm. So he's in the cell, and he's like, fuck, man, I can't. I can't get out. And, like, there's a time limit. He has, like, an hour. Mm-hmm. So he's like, I don't know what to do. My time is about to run out. So uh, he webs up the, the camera in the cell, mm-hmm. and like, all right, he's about to go do his, like, he's about to make his move. Mm-hmm. So go send in some guards. And they have tear gas in the room mm-hmm. that they, like, set off. And they go, the whole room's covered in webs. And there's a sack. And they're like, there he is, we see. And they poke it with the thing, mm-hmm. and the sack's filled with the tear gas. And it goes, and they bust out, webs up the guy's gas mask, puts it on, and closes the cell on the guards. <laughs> and then... J. Joe and Jameson's there, and he's like, what? No! How do you get out? <laughs> and then he goes, ta-da! <laughs> and then the prison gets taken over by everybody in the prison. Yeah. Because Green Goblin hacks into the system, okay. releases everybody in the prison, traps all the guards, mm-hmm. so he has to fight the entire prison. Hmm. And he fucking... Oh, it's so good. The whole episode is just him fighting people. Oh. <laughs> oh, but then Black Cat. No wonder why you like Dragon Ball. Oh. So if, if uh, you guys didn't guess, Eric is a huge Spider-Man fan. And the Black Cat, during that episode, yep. she breaks into the prison to break out her father, <laughs> who's the guy who killed Uncle Ben. Wow. So Spider-Man and Black Cat at this point were like 30 and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's like, Black Cat, what are you doing here? And she just goes, you're not going to like it, Boy Scout. I'm here to break out my father, <laughs> the cat burglar. And he comes out of the shadows, and he gets fucking pissed. He's like, there's no fucking way I'm letting you leave this prison. There's no way. And he's like, geez, Dad, what you doing to this guy? Oh, he was so mad. <laughs> I just shot his grandpa. Uncle. Was, uncle, you fucking... Sorry, son. sorry. He's really in the name. I know. <laughs> oh, uncle Ben. <sighs> he was really old in the first Spider-Man movie, okay? But they he were nice. Age. They were nice, Uncle and Aunt. They were lovely... Not like Amazing Spider-Man where they're fucking dickheads. Uh-oh. But... Whoa. All right. Can't say oh, that. man, with the gun, let me go tackle him. <laughs> oh, no, he got shot. Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> fucking stupid. I hate those movies. <laughs> what, with, with uh, Andrew Garfield? Yeah. <laughs> also, in it, mm-hmm. like they made it uh, clear in these movies that he's smart. Yeah. He's a smart guy. Which he doesn't movie? even make the webs. He buys them from Oscorp, wait, and they just come in a box. In which movies? In Amazing the, Spider-Man. They, yeah, they make it clear he's they smart, just come he just buys them. ship to his yeah. house in a box with the cartridges. <laughs> so it's like, you didn't even make your fucking webs. So what does yeah. the boy make you smart? <laughs> he made the shooters. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, he made fucking air compressors. Tobey Maguire made it himself. Exactly. That's so do you have to do cool. that? Well, I don't have to do it. It's like how I don't have to do breathing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good Shut line. <laughs> Does it come out of other places? I hate it's that kind movie. of personal. You didn't like that movie? No. Why? It wasn't a good movie. I People guess. just loved it because they're like, oh, they're all together. That's true. But if you look at it as like a movie, it wasn't good. I guess. Yeah, I could see it. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. yeah... Marvel has not been great. They've been either. shit. Mm-hmm. It's because DC is Since breathing down their necks, and they're like, ah! Oh, ah! They, <laughs> or they the Batman like... was pretty good. The Batman was sick, but that wasn't really... That's DC. Yeah, but it wasn't part of their DC universe. It should have been. It was just their separate movie, which I wish Marvel would fucking do. Just make se- standalone separate movies. Separate movies, yeah. I kind of miss when they yeah, were, they were doing they're, stuff like that. Like, yeah. Marvel's just trying to, like, trying tie to everything in MCU, together. Yeah, yeah they like, when the, and then when the Avengers comes around, it, it all comes together. Just make a movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. When was their last one that was just, they didn't tie it in at anything? It was just, it was just a standalone movie. Probably before the actual, like, MCU thing. I want to say, like, Iron Man. Iron Man, yeah, Iron Man Before 3. they, like, started with the MCU. Yeah. yeah. That would have been, like, Iron Man 2 or 3. Yeah. But even 
the maybe even the then Thor? Would you say Thor? Because the first one had yeah. Nick Fury in it. Yeah. Yeah, because he was trying to recruit on yeah. yeah. But then So really they they've always had some kind of MCU plan. Yeah, but that was like little things. Yeah. Not like that was not when it was like, all right. It wasn't obvious. Now you have yeah. to have like other actors in the thing. Yeah. It wasn't obvious. You'd be like, I'm here too. Mm-hmm. It's like why? Get the fuck out. <laughs> Get out. Black Widow was good. Black Widow was pretty good. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. I didn't see it. You haven't seen it? No. It's good. It was like a good movie. I didn't care. Did you watch Ho- uh, Hawkeye? No. Good good series. Yeah, I don't care about the fucking shows. I hate how you have Didn't he now. lose his leg? Yeah. That might be in real life. Yeah, that's what I mean. In real life, he lost his leg. He 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 actually lost it now? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. That's what like it was saying, but I'm not sure if it, it's the actual thing. Which is... That, the actor for Hawkeye? Yeah. Which Hawkeye? Hawkeye. If he lost his arm? That would be canonical to Hawkeye. <laughs> no, he lost his leg. Because an old man Logan... Like timeline, he loses an arm. Oh, <laughs> that would be so funny though. Like poor, poor guy, that sucks. But man, mm-hmm. if he were to lose his arm, that'd be so good. Yeah. <laughs> that would work out great. There's no CGI required. <laughs> you think if Marvel's he, just going? Oh, this was planned. Old man Logan, Logan time. Marvel set it up. <laughs> they had a hit man. They had just a rigged hit. snowblower. Yeah, <laughs> they fucked it up. Shit, his leg's gone. Yeah. He's supposed to fall face first, not feet first. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds evil. <laughs> yeah. I mean, big corporations, man. Oh. No, Bla- uh, Black Widow was really good. It had, uh... Have you seen Stranger Things? Yeah. It had Hop in it. Oh yeah, because he's the dad? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, uh... The Russian Captain America, mm-hmm. essentially. He, yeah. goes, he says... Um, it was a good movie. I really liked it. I think, Robin, you watched it twice, right? What? You watched uh, Black Widow twice. Or did we watch it twice? I think you you did. I got it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't remember if I did. I don't think I did. But it was good. I liked it. That guy got Jack now. Oh, yeah. He's fucking sick. Seen Stranger Things? Yeah. Lost so much weight. Mm-hmm. Well, he... Oh, no. I guess he wouldn't have lost it for No, well, he lost Black it for Widow. Because he was in... Prison, fucking gulag for how many years? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I guess you <laughs> would lose a l- fuckload of weight there. <laughs> um, have you seen Stranger Things, Josh? I know the one guy that was on Game Grumps, <laughs> Finn, Finn, Finn Wolf. Yeah, yeah. Oh. it's a good good series. I would I would recommend it. Except season three. Season three wasn't. So the one where she went emo for some reason. Yeah, I had a sister. Yeah. I feel like they didn't know what they were doing with that. No, that was not good. But then they brought it back. She <laughs> stopped being emo. But now I know. What's the thing? Is Will Will's gay now? Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't know if they've confirmed it in the show, yeah, but light. it's it's pretty obvious. Yeah. When uh, Cole and I were watching, we were like, because he had that picture for so long. Yeah. That he wanted to show, uh, Finn or whatever yeah. his name is. And like, Cole yeah. and I were joking. It's gonna be like a picture of. Finn, like, shirtless, holding Will in his arms. It pretty much was. Like, <laughs> was it again? It was all it of was them. It was all right? of them in their D&D group, but, yeah. like, I think he really, like, drew Mike. Yeah. <laughs> like, like he went into He was wearing some tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so many people now are like, oh, I hope they get together. Why? Yeah, why? Why? But, like, Him Mike's and... supposed to be with Al. Yeah. That's the the whole story is about them. Yeah. Like I understand people want. Yeah, but like, now they could be gay. Kid. Yeah, you're right. I understand people like fucking like that kind of stuff. But like, if it's not present to the story, I don't think you sh- should just change it. <laughs> I think Will's gonna die next season. I can see it. That's him, right? That's Actually, him. you know what? I don't think they'll do it. I don't think they'll do it at all. I think it's the last season. Somebody has to die. I think it's going to be Will. You're right. But he, is I he don't, still infected or whatever? I don't yeah. know. I don't think... I feel like they can't kill Will off because he's their, like, token gay kid. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? Oh, dude, full circle. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Start with the gays, end with the gays. All right, well... That's something. It's been, been <laughs> over an hour now. We're like an hour and 15 minutes almost. All right. right, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good that one. That was a good one for for us not having any talk topics. For, we just have for to talk this. about gays and we go. Go from there. <laughs> yeah, for us having no topics, it went pretty well. 
Just, All right. You know, I, I like the vibe. It's uh, just three dudes talking. Mm-hmm. And a girl sometimes. And, yeah. It was, uh, it was good. It was fun. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, joining us on episode four of Quay, the Perpetually Postponed podcast. We are on Spotify and YouTube. Uh, I am Mr. Kajoko, uh, Cameron, and uh, yeah, Josh. I'm um, Phantom Night 300, Josh. Eric? Martin Luther King. <laughs> I don't think that's your name. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> Terry Fox. That's him. I could be, be Terry Fox. You could be Terry Fox. Okay. Oh, Hawkeye could be Terry Fox. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Stop it. Well, uh... <laughs> Poor Hawkeye. Alright. Alright. Uh, next, next episode, uh, maybe we'll have Jeff on. That'd be pretty sexy. Yeah. Crimbo. Get the crimbo on, and we'll, I hope to see what we'll he says. And we'll record in, a, in another new place. Where? I don't know. But last time we were at my parents' house, now we're at my place. Next time we'll be at Jeff's house. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to beat his house. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, we're going to come to your house and record our podcast. You can't be on it. <laughs> That's a little rude. Jeff, yeah, you won't be on the podcast? What's your address? <laughs> No, uh, Josh knows his address. We'll just show up and start setting no, up. Don't go. even ask him. <laughs> no, we gotta ask him. That's what you we gotta be good boys. <laughs> Josh, you right. good boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired of your good boy, yeah, Josh. What? You go want back to, to stealing six hundred dollars from Walmart. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for uh, listening. Bye bye. <laughs>